shit. Got that young bike! What do you want to do first, man? Do you want to do you want to just get the trailer reaction out of the way? Do you want to do that first? It don't matter to me, Joe. How do you feel in your nut sack? I don't I don't care. Let hmm? me feel. Let's see. One, two, three. You've got yeah, three bulls? There's three bulls in there. You've One got three bulls? Ball. It's my future telling ball. It's Sean Connery's birthday. Sean Connery's birthday. <laughs> That's the shittiest bagpipes we ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, let's just do it because that, that'll be the technical part. We'll get that out of the way first real quick. Okay. Carrie! Can I take your phone? I like take. how we both are calling for a significant other. <laughs> like, Tonto! I need I need her earbuds. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Flo. <laughs> really, it's like thanks, babe. Take it slowly. I mean, yeah. what did you want me to do? Like, he hawked at my burger. <laughs> really <laughs> wimped out, man. <laughs> so, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna watch the spiral trailer with you guys for the first time. We've never seen it. It'll be a pure trailer reaction. Um, and uh, let's let me put this squeezy thing in my ear hole. I'm going to go through your text while you're not looking. All right. Sucking, fucking, and touching. Get everybody out of here. I'm the next thing in This package just came in. Yeah, just open it. There's nothing unusual about that. Get everybody out of here. It's better be Jordan's. No, they're gonna be that Nasek Satan shoes. Play me. Hello, Detective Banks. Do you know where your officers are? Jigsaw? It's from Tiffany's. Wait, I thought the Jigsaw Killer was dead. He is. Find him. They're hours, not days. How can I catch this guy? If there's nobody on the bus, I can bus! You can't do this alone. Whoever did this has another motive. Something personal. When was the last time you saw your father? Jigsaw copycat. This is gonna go sideways fast. I'm a mess, man, like a spiral. All available units, officer down. That was just a diversion to get us out of the precinct. Spiral, 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 spiral. I need everyone on this case. He could be anywhere. He could be anyone. We're gonna tear this city apart. I'm a little spin like a spiral. Hello, Detective Banks. When was the last time you saw your father? Was he sitting on fucking needles? Oh, no, that was... <laughs> it's been too long, Stephen. It's been too long since I've seen yeah, my father. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was there. It's all right. <laughs> you know, I mean, they didn't really. I mean, I'm glad they didn't really give you a lot to go off of there. Like it was. <laughs> I like that half the trailer was just Chris Rock being like, "Where is this motherfucker?" <laughs> you know what I mean? Just you know what's funny? Chris dude? Rock voice. I... I was thinking that every time he was talking, yeah, when he was getting excited and he's trying to describe what he was gonna do, I th I felt like he was screaming at that one guy in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. He was like, "Taste the booger flavor, give me a coffee." <laughs> like, like when he was screaming on stage, he's like, "I want a white boy delivering my coffee." He's like, "You put a booger in this, a taste the booger flavor." <laughs> I don't I don't know why I don't know why I felt like that, but yeah, I mean, hopefully it's good. I I, you know, I have I, you know was it? No, I'm thinking of I, or. Was Danny Glover in, in one of those? Yeah, he was. He was in one of them. One of the I'm, Saw movies. They, oh, he died, didn't he? Yeah. I was going to say, why didn't they bring Danny Glover back? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you know, and like, I mean, he's pretty old. But, I, you know, and it's kind of everything they said it would be, right? It feels more of like a detective movie, like a yeah. like an edgy detective movie than it does a Jigsaw movie. These days, 
it's kind of hard to to get any like just a random detective movie greenlit yeah. right like you don't see him anymore you don't see him just like a movie that's an original property that's not based off a book or something that was just a decent script hey let's slap an actor in here and do a detective movie a th- detective thriller movie and then they do that with this and they're like okay well how are we going to get that done put Saul in it and now you get to do that so I don't mind it because that's just the way things work nowadays though but I, I think that if I had to guess after watching this trailer is that there's there's nothing cr- that really crazily stands out about it either yeah, I didn't. I didn't really get pulled in by it. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that it won't be good. And I'm definitely not like shitting on it. But at the same time, I kind of felt like it was almost like again, it's it's gonna sound like I'm taking a dump right in its mouth, and I'm not. But it almost feels like it's a Netflix original series based on the Saw movies. Like if it was on Netflix as an original title, yeah. it feels like kind of like that, like a Netflix produ- produced movie. Uh, that they were gonna do episodically for a couple of weeks, which would be cool. But um, and then also I just didn't. I didn't. Uh, personally, I just didn't care for Jigsaw's voice. I didn't like that shit. I was totally expecting the old school voice, and I know that we got to move on. We got to do things differently, but yeah, that and we know that's not it, actually it, Jigsaw, right? So, but yeah, I just did I, like I didn't like it too much. It sounded like a whispery version of the like that woman from the scariest places on earth, the one of the poltergeist. You didn't know that they <laughs> were still in the house, like that one <laughs> Zelda, whatever her name was from. Uh, this yeah. house is clear. I just didn't. Mm, not my thing but again yeah. i mean i could be wrong i mean we it could be one of the it could be the best saw movie to ever exist I, but I, yeah and it could be i think it's going to be a good detective film maybe uh and like i like samuel L. jackson i love chris rock um but i, I they're really laying heavy on the seven vibes uh, they even mm-hmm. mentioned it themselves it's like seven ish seven ish seven ish and i mean they're laying the seven vibes thick yeah, thick as fuck on this, and like you know, with it, all the way down to them pulling the bed, the dudes in the bed, and it's like a you know a red herring or whatever. The dudes in the bed, they pull off the thing, and it's the pig mask. You know the scene in Seven where they pull the face off the guy, and he's like, oh, 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 oh. and he yeah, like that scares part the shit the out, fuck out of me. The one that was still alive. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it feels a lot like that. I don't know. I think it's going to be a good thriller detective film, and it'll be nice to go see that. I'd much rather go see this film than go see a sequel to that jigsaw piece of shit we got a couple years ago. Yeah, it, it, it's, I swear, Saw is the strangest franchise, really, as far as horror is concerned, because they have such, like, gr- like, like in the middle, they have some good shit, like some good movies that come out. And then prior to that, and then after, like a movie after that, it's just a shit sound wolch all the way through it. And then you'll get one more good movie. You're like, oh, that's a good one. And then you get you'll go right back to two more and it's like, oh shit, they fooled me again. Yeah. It, it's it's a strange up and down like EKG that it, like it's it's weird. But yeah, I I I mean, yeah, I guess I want to see it, but at the same time, I don't know. In a way, I've never been I, I love Saw One and I love Saw Two. And like I said, there's a couple of gems in the Saw franchise, but it never really hooked me enough to really give that shit that much about like them continuing the franchise or the series alone. I think that it's run its course. Once once uh Tobin Bell was gone, I was like, Man, you probably could have locked it up there. Like, I get the idea of a jigsaw, like it's a killer that wants the copycat, but it's not the OG. I want to see the original. But um, anyway, but yeah, I I just I think a Oh god, I don't know. It just feels it kind of it just feels like lukewarm to me. It feels like yeah. it could be on TV. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. It's not that it's not good. It, and you know, it's like I do like detective stories and stuff like that. But okay, even if it's not a Netflix produced show, if it was like what's that what's that show that they did with uh, Matthew McConaughey on HBO? A uh, true detective. Uh, true detective. If it yeah. was like a true detective Badass story. Show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if it was an mm-hmm. HBO like True Detective, that's what it kind of feels like. True Detective. So I'm actually like I'm actually happy that it's in theaters because I think that like going to see Saw films in the theater is like a fun thing no matter what because it went through that run where it's not quite nostalgia yet but remember when they went that through that run with the Saw movies when they first started coming out it was like boom Halloween new Saw movie boom Halloween new Saw movie and it became almost like a thing that you did on, on Halloween whether it sucked or not we'll go see a yeah. Saw movie maybe you know we, we'll just get drunk when we go see it and we won't even pay attention to it so it'll be nice to have a Saw movie in the theaters again and again dude I'm just I'm I'm actually excited about a, a, a the possibility of having a good detective film in there i have a weird feeling though that i'm not sure how actual deep saw fans are going to feel i think what if dude what if this what if, we may have another wrong turn on our hands where people yeah. go see this movie and it's actually better than the past five or six saw movies that have come out but it still gets shit on because the main hardcore like saw community is saying why'd you call it saw Why'd you yeah. call it? They're like, we didn't fucking call it Saw. It's like, why'd you say it was for the book of Saw? It's like, because we had to sell fucking tickets. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it might be like that. 
I mean, they, they definitely changed the voice up. And, and I mean, I, I saw a picture of Tobin Bell, like the, uh, the, the cops were doing research. So he's probably going to be mentioned for sure. I just, they done the copycat story already. Like the guy that, you know, the, the girl copycat killer, you know, all the, they've already done it. It almost is like they're retreading some stuff, adding a little different flavor crystals in there and saying, here, chew five gum. Yeah. I don't I, like, you know, I don't know. I mean, but it, I could be wrong and I'm not saying it's going to suck. I'm not like, don't get all mad about it. Don't get your tits all twisted up. But I'm just saying, I think it's going to be one of those movies that's, it could be really good or it could be really shitty. Yeah. <laughs> if, uh, it's a hit or miss. That's that. No, I think that's fair. And that comes from, I'm excited about it. Like I'm, I'm actually pretty pumped about it, but what you just said is exactly fair. I mean, I, there's nothing in that, in that trailer that tells me for sure. That's not going to be a hot steamy piece of shit. To me, there's also nothing that says it's not going to be fucking awesome as a yeah. seven ish type movie. So we'll see.